Hi, I'm Rob. Don't you just hate losing your data? It's all too easy to accidentally delete something you still need. Yep, been there, done that. Well, don't despair. There's still a chance you can recover your files with data recovery software. Whether it's a document file, photos, or even videos, data recovery software can bring these deleted or unsaved files back with a good chance of success. Today, we'll be looking at the EaseUs data recovery wizard for Mac, and there's a free trial available. Some benefits of the software is its fast scanning speed when searching for files, supports over 1,000 different file types from all sorts of devices, including hard drives, SSDs, memory cards, and USB flash drives. The app has an intuitive interface, so you won't waste time trying to figure out how to recover your files, and the professional version has a 30-day money-back guarantee with 24-7 customer support. Okay then, that sounds pretty good. Let's give it a shot and try to recover some missing files. The first thing we need to do is install the software on the Mac. You can download the EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard from the official website linked in the video description. Run the downloaded file and follow the prompts to install it. The download is around 80 megabytes in size and should only take a couple minutes to download and install on most Macs. Once it's up and running, on the left side you can select the device you want to recover data from or use the advanced features. In my case, I had some sample photos I downloaded and deleted that I want to recover. That's on my Mac drive and I just need to click the search for lost files button. If you've got the default security settings on your Mac like I do, you'll need to allow the Data Recovery Wizard app access to find your files. Once that's done, the Mac will restart. Okay, now that we're back, press the button and we just let it scan. Depending on the speed of your drive and the amount of files, it could take a while, so be patient. And due to the magic of video editing, the scan is completed and I know what I'm looking for, so instead of looking through all these files, I'll head to pictures. I know the file type of the photos is JPEG, so I narrow the search down further, and on top of that, they were high quality photos over 10 megabytes in size. So I can use a filter to narrow it down further. And here they are. Double clicking the file will bring up a preview, and I can recover it. Easy. You should always recover to a separate drive, like a USB flash drive, as recovering the files onto the same drive can cause other files to become unrecoverable. And there we have it. Simple and easy to use. Some other useful tips. There's a select all toggle to recover all the files shown in this window in one go. If you know the name of the file you're looking for, you can search for it. And you can change the viewing options for the results in the top right corner. Very useful if you need more detail. Recoverability depends on many factors, but the EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard for Mac gives you a good chance of recovering files that Mac OS can't, and you can use the free trial to see if it finds the files you're looking for. That's all for this one. I hope you have success in recovering your lost files. If you found this video useful, like and subscribe, and we'll have plenty more good tips in the future. Bye for now.